one of the university's most interesting and arguably the most important facilities might be one you have never heard of. It's an experimental facility and UMTV reporter Connor Pregitzer got an inside look. The hatchery is tucked away on Virginia Key across from the Rosensteel School of Marine and Atmospheric Sciences. It houses the lifeblood of the university's aquaculture program. Aquaculture is the science of farming fish. And with the state of our world's naturally occurring fisheries, it's probably a field you should get familiar with. Based on population growth and projections, we're going to need about another 20 million metric tons of seafood in, in the next 15 years. And it's not going to come from the oceans. This imports over 90% of our seafood, and of that, more than 50% of that is farmed. So our oceans are being fished to their maximum sustainable yields, if not beyond that. The importance of the industry means that it is almost frantically growing. Both public okay. and private industries are investing rapidly and deeply in the emerging science of farming fish. It is a high stakes game with everything on the line, which is what makes this facility's status as experimental so interesting. We work very closely with the private sector to address their needs and, and the research goals that help them as an industry, but it also frees us up to pursue uh, more novel approaches and uh, develop new species that a commercial uh, operation probably would invest in a, in a fish species that nobody knows very much about. While the aquaculture industry is growing rapidly and there is certainly money to be made in the private sector, Ron contends that the hatchery here at the University of Miami serves a greater purpose. That purpose? Sustainability. Fish is the most efficient animal protein to culture. We're dealing with some finite resources uh, in terms of feed and water. So there's a much smaller footprint with farming fish versus terrestrial animal proteins. The hatchery at the University of Miami is truly one of a kind. It is almost solely operated by students. And with a major upgrade that the facility is about to undergo, it will very likely be a staple program at the university for years to come. For UMTV, I'm Connor Pregitzer.